So for this module, we're going to talk about basically what is on the exam, what's on the actual Network Plus exam, so you understand what you need to study. So the Network Plus exam, if you go to CompTIA's website, it says that Network Plus is a vendor-neutral networking certification that's trusted around the world. It validates the essential knowledge and skills needed to confidentially design, confidently design, configure, manage, and troubleshoot any wired or wireless devices. CompTIA Network Plus certified individuals are in demand worldwide. So what does that really mean to you? Um, as I was mentioning to you guys earlier, because it is a vendor neutral, they're not going to ask you specific questions on how to configure a Cisco router. They're not going to ask you to go in and configure a Juniper router. They're just going to talk about routers in general. Um, so the good thing about that is you don't need to know all that command line interface stuff from iOS that you guys have been learning in Cisco. Uh, instead, you're going to just need to know the way routers work and the way that routing actually does work. Uh, same thing with switches. We're going to talk about the way switches work from a macro level, we're not going to talk about how to configure those switches. Um, and so it's, it's a very, um, a network plus is considered the entry level networking certification. It's vendor neutral. It's about the cabling, the infrastructure, how devices work, the security of those devices. But when it comes to actually configuring those devices, you'd go on to another certification like CCNA or a Juniper equivalent and learn those type of systems. So for the exam itself, uh, Network Plus is going to cover your configuration, management, and troubleshooting of common wired and wireless network devices. You're going to see a lot of wireless questions, and we'll go through that as we go through the uh, lectures here. Um, also included are some new emerging technologies such as unified communications, mobile, cloud, and virtualization technologies. A lot of these are new areas that are on this new uh, 006 exam that were not on the version 5 exam. So since uh, February of 2015, when the new exam came out, these things got added into it. When we talk about unified communications, we're talking about things like video teleconference systems and VoIP systems, voice over IP, and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, mobile, obviously, is your mobile devices like your cell phones and your tablets. Uh, cloud technologies, we'll talk about things like software as a service, infrastructure as a service, um, all those kind of things when we get there. And virtualization, uh, when you were in A+, you, you covered some of the virtualization technologies like VMware and VirtualBox. We'll go a little bit more in depth into those, um, as well as the way that virtualization is working on a networking level. Right. Uh, so the exam itself, uh, you have 90 minutes, just like your A plus and your Security plus. Uh, it is 90 minutes, and you have up to 90 questions. Um, the majority of those are going to be multiple choice again, and you are going to have some performance-based and simulation-based questions. Generally, most of my students are seeing somewhere between three and five simulation questions at the beginning, and then the rest of it is multiple choice, generally around 75 to 85 questions. Um, and the more simulations you have, the less multiple choice you'll have, and vice versa. Um, this exam does require an 80% to pass, so it's 720 out of 900 points, uh, which is, works out to 80%. Uh, they recommend that you already have your A-plus certification, which I know most of us in here have already gone through, uh, and you should have about nine months of networking experience. I know all of you guys have had about six months so far through your classes, uh, so you guys should be good there. Um, I know yours has been focused on Cisco, but we're going to cover the more generalized here. Uh, the cost, if you go directly to CompTIA, is $277 for the exam. When I recently checked their website, although you can get discount vouchers online, um, as well as some training centers will, will sell them discounted as well. Um, and I can help you guys find some places for that as well. And uh, the exam was recently re-released back in February uh, of 2015, uh, and it's good for, usually they do things on a three-year cycle, so this current version of the exam will be with us for another couple of years yet. Um, and, and this is the new 006 exam. All right, and so the domains that are going to be covered, um, unlike when you looked at A+, where you had some vastly different sizes of domains, where we had some that were like 36% and some were like 8%, the Network Plus is a pretty even, evenly laid exam. Uh, most of them are about 20%. So um, the network architecture is 22%, network operations 20%, network security 18%, troubleshooting 24%, it's the one that has the most. Uh, and then we have a little bit less in industrial industry standards, practices, and network theory. Uh, and we'll talk about all these as we go through the, uh, through the lectures as well. So uh, career path for Network Plus. Uh, generally, when somebody gets a Network Plus, what they're looking at is help desk technician, network support specialist, network administrators or field technicians, network engineers or network analysts. A lot of those later ones, depending on the job you're applying for, they're going to look for, an, for a vendor-specific certification as well. So if you're going to go be a network administrator on a Cisco system, they're probably going to want you to have your CCNA, right? Um, but help desk technicians, generally they're looking for just general overarching and they'll give you on-the-job training as well. Same thing with network support specialists. Um, so it really does depend on what, what career field you're going for, uh, to what certifications you need specifically. Uh, and that's 
it for the uh, Network Exam Foundations.